Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about how to delete data into the table rows. So when we want to delete the data, delete is the keyword that you can use to delete any specific rows or the complete data into a table, right? So it doesn't matter whether you want to spe delete specific rows or the data in the complete data in the table, the keyword will be same. So delete statement is used to delete the existing records in the table. It can be used to delete one or or multiple rows from the table now if you do not use where clause so use where clause to specify the condition for rows to delete now delete keyword needs to be used with utmost care and uh, knowledge because as as with update you update or overwrite or basically change the values into the tables delete will delete the tables table values so you have to make sure that you are using it with the care and very carefully deleting the data that you actually want to delete so example of delete statement so delete from table name so what this delete from table name say for example I have a data into the customer table and I want to delete all the data into the customer table I'll simply use the statement delete from the table name that I have said delete from customers and all the data into the customers table will get deleted okay if I say delete from the table and specify the where clause only the rows that match that clause or condition will be deleted so say for example I want to delete the data from the customers table where the customer belongs to country USA okay then in that case only the customer that has the country relation as USA will get deleted and rest all data will be there into the table so let's quickly go ahead and understand and learn how you will be deleting the data into the SQL table okay so let me go to the workbench and we have understood about the update statement already in the last tutorial right now if say for example while updating you are getting this error okay so let me move okay let me move this here okay so you can see the so if say for example you are getting this message error code 1175 you are using safe mode what you need to do is as I have explained in update you need to basically go to edit go to preferences all right because update and delete by default there is a safe mode enabled in SQL workbench so you need to make sure that you need to disable it to trigger update and delete queries so go to SQL editor and this safe updates will be checked by default in your MySQL workbench okay you need to uncheck it and then click OK click once you click OK the window will be closed and then you need to go to query and click on reconnect to server right once you will reconnect to server then you will be able to run delete or update queries perfectly fine if you don't do it if safe mode is enabled then you will get this error that I have shown here error code 1175 you are using safe mode update error in other editors you can google around and see what steps you need to follow to disable safe mode if safe mode is enabled there okay now let's quickly see how you are going to delete the rows right or all the data into a table now statement is pretty similar so I'll say delete right so delete from table name right so what this delete from table name will do is it will delete all the data but first we do not want to delete all the data we simply want to delete some data or some rows and we'll use the where clause right so we'll say delete from we need to specify the table name so we, we have two tables here customer and order so we'll delete some data from customer right so delete from customer if I just execute this then all my table customer table will be empty no data will remain there okay so if I want to basically let me see what all data is there so if I select all the values from the customer table you will see there are 12 rows right so 12 rows are there and this is the data that is there okay now if I want to say for example delete the rows that have or delete the customers that belong to uh, UK say for example all right or say United Kingdom okay full form so United Kingdom so what I can do is I can specify the condition so I want to delete the customer which belong to the country United Kingdom so I can say delete from customer where country and then specify the condition I simply say United in the quotes kingdom right now what this will do is this particular query this will basically figure out how many rows are there 
for United Kingdom, where, where the customer belongs to the country in our United Kingdom, and then it will only delete those rows. Okay. So if I run this or before that, let's see how many rows are there for this United Kingdom. So I can say select star from customer where country is equal to United Kingdom. Okay. So let me quickly copy it. And if I run this, let's see how many customers are there. Only one customer. So A00013 should not be there anymore. Okay. So there were 12 rows previously. And if I delete one, there will be only 11 remaining. Okay. Because I'm deleting a row or the customer where the country is United Kingdom. So if I run this query now, you will see one row got affected. Okay. And if I run the query select star from customer basically i want to select all the rows in this customer table if i run this you will see only 11 rows remain and one of that row has been uh, removed and there won't be any country which is united kingdom in this list anymore right so that's how you are going to delete the rows in the table with a condition right now if i say if i want to delete all of this data okay which i don't want to delete but i'll show you i'll repopulate this data again but if i want to delete all of this data from this particular table the query is pretty simple delete from without the condition i'll simply say delete from customer okay if i fire this particular query everything in this table is deleted okay so you have to use delete and update with very care because if i simply say delete from customer then it's going to delete everything from this table okay so you have to make sure when you are working in actual projects use delete and update with utmost care so if i run this you will see it has okay it has given me some error there okay so cannot delete uh right okay so cannot delete or update a parent row a foreign key constraint right so a foreign key constraint is there okay and that's the reason it hasn't allowed me to delete because what why this constraint is there because in the customer table right if i say in the customer table you will see that this customer id is being referred into the orders table okay so let's quickly run this in the orders table and because there is a constraint so there are many conditions which won't allow you to delete the data straight away if there are constraints there is a mapping there is a foreign key etc then it won't allow but this statement if there are no constraints and everything is fine then this will remove everything from the table so let me go to the orders table so i'll say select star from orders and try to delete the values in this okay so there are 14 rows right now if i want to delete everything from the orders okay so if i say delete from orders okay so this will delete everything from the orders table if i run this you will see 14 rows affected okay because there was no constraint in this case because this orders table is referring to the primary key of the customer that's why there was an error in the previous case that when i want to remove the customer or run the query delete from customers basically there is a reference in the orders table that's why it was not allowing me but this statement is pretty dangerous it will delete everything from the table if you are not in the safe mode and you there is no sort of any referencing to the uh, other table so if i now select star from customers you will see it is all blank because everything has been deleted in the orders table right so now i have to basically figure out a backup of this particular orders table or the database and then take a backup uh, take uh, restore it so it's a lot of rework there and it it's not advisable that you use delete and update without the where clause because in testing we'll be mostly knowing what sort of things we are going to test and what rows we want to delete so always use with the where okay and use it with very care so this is all about the delete statement in sql i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching